Welcome to a quick introduction to Flash'em. I'm going to demonstrate the basic features, which are plus album to create your album, one, import images, two, edit the album, and finally, three, to convert it to video. Now you can certainly do those steps on your own, or you can hit the question mark to let Flash'em guide you through the process. After pressing the question mark, you'll get a dialog that will ask you if you need help making your video. Just press Yes, Please. Then it will ask you to enter the name of your album. As you normally do with your Android, you tap the space to bring up the keyboard. Then you can type in your album name. And then you just tap the Create Album button to create an empty album. Then you're presented with a dialog with options for importing your pictures. You can use any app you like, but the easiest way is to use Flashem's custom gallery. So press the gallery button and then wait a few seconds so Flashem can find all the pictures that you've got stored on your phone. Then you'll be presented with a list of folders where all your pictures are stored. As you create more albums, you'll find that each album is stored in its own folder. This helps you organize the pictures on your phone. So we'll just tap the camera folder because this is where all the new pictures are stored. Then your pictures are presented as a grid with an enlarged picture of a selected image at the top. You can select an image to be imported by tapping the star either in the thumbnail or in the enlarged image. To select any image to be enlarged, just tap the middle of its thumbnail. So we see we like this image also, so we go ahead and tap its star to select it. There are several ways to move around through your image grid. One is simply to scroll with your finger. You can use the slider at the bottom to move around quickly to different positions in the grid. You can also use the little arrows on the sides of the enlarged image to move between the images, and a long press will move you to the end or the beginning of the images. So here we've moved to the end of the grid, and we've selected a few more pictures. Once we've selected all the pictures we want for now, we can just hit the Import button. Flashem will then copy your original images into an album folder and store them also in a database. Then you'll be presented with a dialog asking if you'd like to import more images. For now, let's just hit Done. Congratulations! You've just imported your images into your album. Now you're given the option of immediately converting them to video, or you can take a little bit more time and edit your album to make the video even better. And of course, we'd like to make the video even better, so let's hit Edit. Now the editor has a lot of features, so you're presented with a help screen to explain those features in as much detail as you would like. For now, we'll just hit Done and get right to work. Now you're presented with a screen that looks very familiar. It looks just like the import activity. All the controls for moving around the album and selecting the images are the same. So the first thing we're going to do is correct the orientation of certain images. So we're going to select all the images that we need to rotate. So once you have the images selected, you just tap the Rotate button as many times as you need to correct the orientation. So that looks much better already. So now let's unselect the images by pressing the Check button, which is used to either select all the images or unselect all the selected images. Now there's a good chance you're going to want to reorder the images. So just select one or more images that you'd like to move, and then tap the Move button. Then you're given the option to move the images to the beginning, to the end, or any other place you'd like. Let's just move this image to the beginning. And we can see that our image is now at the beginning of the album. So let's say we want to add some music. To do that, just tap the Add Music button. Then you're given the option of adding any music that you've got stored on your phone, 
or even recording your voice and using that as a soundtrack. For now, let's just add some music. So you just tap the Add Music button. Then you can use whatever app you'd like to select your music. You choose a soundtrack, and you tap OK. So we've got our pictures the way we like them. We've added some music. And there are many other things we could do in this editor, including adding narration and captions. But for right now, let's just hit the Return button on the phone to go back to the home screen. So back at the home screen, we're given the option to preview the video if we'd like, or we can go right to video conversion. So let's go right to video conversion by tapping Vmail. Then you're asked to enter your email address, which ideally is a gmail.com address. Make sure it's right, or you won't get your video back. Then just tap the Vmail button. Then you're given the option of using the normal Vmail service or the subscription service, Vmail Plus, which has some premium features. So let's just use the normal Vmail service and tap the Vmail button. Then you'll be presented with a progress dialog, which will show your album being uploaded. Of course, the better your internet connection, the faster this is going to happen. Then you'll be presented with one final dialog that will give you the option of sending an email with the album attached as a backup. And this also helps to confirm your email address. So please hit OK, at least on your first album, to make sure that we've got your correct email address. Then you select your email application, and then just tap the Send button. And that's all there is to it. You should soon receive an email with your attached video, and also a link to Google Drive where you can download it. So this is the resulting video that we just made together except that I also took the liberty of adding some captions and some narration. I also want to demonstrate some of the nice Vmail Plus features. Here we're doing a little animation where we're zooming out on the image. And with this image, we're doing just the opposite. We're zooming in to get a closer look. And you can also crop images. That's where you zoom in on a particular part of the image. Then Flashem will use the full resolution of the original image to create the new image. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this introduction to Flashem so that you feel comfortable enough to make your own album and to experiment to discover many of Flashem's other fine features. I plan to make other tutorials explaining some of the more advanced features. For now, enjoy making your Flashem videos.